Finally working on the pond project. I got all serious filming going down there with all this, but today I just wanted to talk, make a video about towing with the old truck. I get, uh, I get harped a lot on not having a dump truck for all on the equipment. I honestly don't use a dump truck or need one very often at all. And folks say, well, you got dump trailers. Yeah, because I can, I can daily drive a pickup any old day of the week. And then uh, I can hook on one of these dump trailers and do what I need to do. So that's what we're doing today. 14 foot, 14K uh, Ed dump trailer. It's a pretty nice little unit. Let me throw this for the dog and we'll hop in the machine. Load her up real quick. That pond got deep, just taking out a little bit on the bottom. Need to line this so that it uh, doesn't look like this in the middle of summer. I would very much like to have some freaking water in there. All right, let's get to loading this old girl. This is load number 11 on the day. Battery uh, didn't get charged. I didn't have a solar panel on the dump trailer, so I got a jump pack on there. But this is a 52 inch wide grading bucket. It goes on the end con. I don't know how much each one of these scoops weighs, but it is up there. And I put about six to eight scoops depending on how full i get them in the dump trailer first one i might have put you know maybe 10 of them on there and well it didn't really it didn't like it it didn't it didn't want to dump it see i got one just like half scoop uh without the end con on it i can't tilt to match my what i'm aiming for so i might go over here and grab a little bit but i used to have uh my first dump trailer was a partnership thing when i first bought into the company a little bit Poor v and son went out on her own. We had another business partner. It was just a simple little uh, exact same trailer, pretty much, just different brand design, a little bit different than this one. 14 gate, 14 footer, made by TNT. I think this trailer is quite a bit better than the TNT one. It's definitely a lot lighter weight, and not in a bad way. It just it's a little bit better engineered. I know I could have backed up a little bit, but. This thing was where it was. But that trailer being a 14k bumper pull, at first I was just I put 10,000 pounds in it, it was the max I'd ever do. And then did a couple 12,000 pound gravel loads back to back. And I thought, well, I guess 12 is not bad. So I just basically 10 to 12,000 pounds in that little dump trailer. I, I use that thing for everything. I would haul the wheel tractors in it, I would haul gravel in it, wood chips, logs, everything. You know, I bought a bigger dump trailer. I didn't think I was going to use it anymore, so I sold it back to the other business partner. He bought it, bought us out, which wasn't much. It was just simple, and I was like, well, he could probably better use it than us. We got a big trailer. Well, long end of it is uh, I missed having one, so I talked to Dave and I bought this one out in Winnemucca. And so I'm just aiming for around 10 to 12,000 pounds in there. What was that scoop number three? Definitely slows production down a lot when you got to track back and forth a little bit, but we're on our own time here. But that first load wouldn't dump, so uh, that thing was definitely over 12,000 pounds. I'd like to get a little bit of the back just so it dumps a little easier. And then uh, I actually did haul one round of 14,000. I hauled sand in that old dump trailer. That was confirmed at the scales. That was my whatever weight when I left there. It was 14 heavier than when I showed up. And uh, it dumped it slow, but didn't have a problem with it. I lost track of talking to you guys all those numbers. I think I'm just gonna put one more in there because you'll see the route that I gotta take is a little bit more than ideal, but it works. I think I'm going to back this rig up and leave it out of the way. I don't want to park it too far to my left. There's a big old bee's nest right there. I already tore it all apart and then buried it. It's still over. There we go. Ah, let's put one more in it. We're filming. We'll put a mini in there. This kind of weight this bucket full with the tilt rotator on there 
the 080 says oh, so much nicer without it on there for just shoveling dirt. I don't need to do any sculpting or nothing. So let's go hop in the truck. Uh, yep. Tires are squatting a little bit. Probably could have gave a little bit more forward, but this trailer's nice and the axle's in a good spot. Take off and four wheel. Just get up over this little hump right here. If not, the way that the trailer tries to pull the truck sideways because the rear tires spin. What you got, dog? It's tight right here. Pop her back in the two wheel so I can make this corner. First load was so heavy I didn't even try to make this corner because I felt like it was going to be hard on the rig then we got to go back to four if I did have a little bit of momentum it would pull it in two but you know chew up the driveway chew up the tires every time going up through there and it's gonna look like a skid trail by the time we're done so we got four-wheel drive it's a simple pull of a lever put it in there it's not a big deal But going in and out of that spot down there, I wanted to have the single rear wheel just so it was narrower and easier to maneuver. And, uh, but it'd be nice to have a flatbed back here so I could quickly see because a pickup bed you can't see a jack when you're backing it up over an edge like I'm doing. And it'd also be nice to have this uh, truck an automatic for this situation because you can just slam her and park but I don't want to burn on the starter 5,500 times today. So I just uh, picked the one truck that's got uh, a really good parking brake. Go back here. Make life a lot easier. Got to turn on the jump pack, of course. Didn't have my rig charged all the way up. That's a heavy load. I think that last one was the maker make the difference kind of a amount because then it a little heavy but she's doing it that's all that matters this is all just crap out of the bottom of the pond it ain't helping it seal for nothing and it had, a lot of this was full of uh, weeds and all that mess so it's no good to leave, leave it in there in this spot right here I wanted to make it a little bit more parking if I ever wanted it so put the dirt there now we got to get back in the truck Ugh. that trailer is over the edge just a little bit so we got to click her back in a four by or else we just end up doing a little donut right here well not a donut burnout that's the word Get it to slam the tailgate will hit the bed and uh, rattle a little bit more junk free. Load number 11 on the day. I got a switch rigged up. I ordered a remote for this trailer, it didn't come with one. The remotes are cheap, they're only 20 bucks with a receiver and a couple controllers. So I don't forget when I get down there, she's ready to go. But I just put a toggle on the down so I don't have to stand there and waste a bunch of time because it's repetitive stuff. You try to find anything you can do to get a little bit more of an angle. Could rig it up so you didn't even have to get out of the truck except for drop the tailgate and close it. But 
we gotta get out at some point. Get the blood flowing a little bit in the legs. Looks like I can dump one more before I gotta get the tractor involved. So I'll scoop this one up and I'll get the other tractor involved and show you guys what we're doing here. Baba J texted me. What you got going on, Baba J? He's asking if I'm the, uh, making a pond deeper. Ye yep, and yeah, well, I guess technically. We gotta go a little deeper so we can line it because we gotta get all the vegetation and junk out of there. And let's see if I can do this in one shot. I did it every time in one shot except for the first one. But the camera was rolling and it screwed me all up apparently. <laughs> Hugging her tight. Take the mirror off. Oh yeah, we're gonna side by son of a camera's going. I don't have the tow mirrors up, so looking out the window is the way to do it. That'll work. All right, see you guys back up top. showed up and loaded this one he get a little bit tail heavy but we ain't getting on the highway maybe it'll help it dump easy but this is load i believe number 15 on the day and i still got oh got a bunch of tidying up i got about 5500 bowling balls that rolled down there if you can see those but this is the most i've used this little trailer i've had it almost a year i'd say and uh it's been mainly for dump runs i've never hauled any stone with it Except for around the property, and so 15 loads today. And that's more more hauls of anything it's had so far, and it did great. Just need to have the need to remember put the solar panel back on the battery, so she's good to go. But the old Dodge doing good. The old 9812 valve, as you as you would figure, single wheel life, getting her done, no problem. Callahan, no joke, he's he dumped some of these in there. But yeah, that's. That's a big hole in the ground right there. All right, Callahan, let's shut her down for the night. We got one more load to go dump, and then we're done. Let's get a photo and send it to Grandpa, though. We'll get the photo. Callahan! Hey! <whistles> Look at Grandpa! There you go. He says, Hi, Grandpa. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed 12 out working as it should.